Hey guys, Ridge Outdoors here, coming to you live from my kitchen table. Today we'll specifically be talking about how to mod the muffler on this Steel 025. Seen some other videos online that aren't very in depth. I had to go through multiple just to do my own. So hopefully by the end of this video, you guys will have all of your questions answered and you'll be able to do this to your chainsaw yourself. So stay tuned. Jumping right in. 8 millimeter. you're going to remove these two nuts right here on the front of your muffler. Already cracked them loose, so go ahead and pop them off. Alright, both those nuts are off, put them to the side. This will all come off as one assembly. Might have to wiggle it a little bit. Looks like there's still a gasket on the inside, so let's check that out. So you don't have to take any of this off. If you're already in here, you might may want to replace these parts. Looks like there's a gasket in here. Try and pull that off. There's your gasket. It's brand new. Then you also want to make sure your shield is in the correct orientation as well. So I'll go ahead and take that off for the sake of this video. And there's your shield. So the main focus of this video is gonna be the muffler of your Steel 025. So you need to take this shield off first. Best way to do this is to flip it around, take a flathead screwdriver and apply force upwards. So I'm just gonna take my screwdriver like so and push up on each end. Now that that's broken loose, we'll flip it back around and that shield will come right off. Some of these will have spark arresters, I believe they're called. They're little screens that are on them in this area. When I bought this saw, it did not have a spark arrestor on it. And I did not make a special trip to the store just to buy one. So I'm just going to keep running it without for now. So this is what it looks like after you take that off. You're going to want to throw the shield to the side. Next, you're going to want to break these two apart from one another. So I'm just going to take my finger, just lift up and then voila. So we have this separated now. You can take this, put it to the side with your shield, and then you can pull this out. This is your baffle. This is what we're gonna be focusing on today. I've already modded this, so yours will not look like this, but I will still go through on how to mod this the way that I have it and what tools that I used. So I'll throw a picture up of what this used to look like right here on the screen. So that's what mine used to look like until I modded it. I simply just used a Dremel, able to open all of this up. I removed all of those small holes that were in it, and now it has a better exhaust flow. So I'm going to throw the old picture up on the screen again. This is the tool that I used to cut those out with. Probably hard to see. You can tell there's some discoloration. It got really hot. So after watching a few videos, it's best to use cutting fluid and you do not want to build up heat. So if you have to take small increments, that's what's best. I'm sure there's better tools out there for the job. This is what I had with my small handheld Dremel. So after you make that cut out, it's not going to look smooth like this. There's going to be a bunch of jagged edges. So what I did is I have an attachment and I just put on some sandpaper. This is coarser sandpaper than what I used. Any sandpaper is probably fine. So you're just going to want to go in with your tool and hit all these edges all the way around until you can touch them with your finger. There's no sharp edges anymore, no burrs, no nothing. After you get everything smoothed out with that sandpaper, like I said, I used a Dremel. It's probably the only thing you really can use on something this small. I'm going to blow it out with an air gun. So make sure there's no debris left in here whatsoever after you smooth all these edges. After you blow it out, I went ahead and took some brake parts cleaner and sprayed all this down really well. You do not want any debris or metal shavings or anything left on this baffle because if that gets back into your saw, you could have bigger issues. So make sure this thing is completely clean before putting it back into your saw. So let's start putting this thing back together. 
I just took this out for the sake of the video. We'll go ahead and throw it back in, of course. Slide right in there. Next, you're gonna have your gasket. Just follow the outline of the orientation of the gasket. What's on your shield. Push that on there. It's all fully seated. Now you gotta put this back together. Take this. You'll see kind of marks of how it came out. Pretty simple to put back in. I'm gonna line up that hole and that hole. And you're gonna take this plate, sandwich them right back together. These are back together. All the seams lined up, nothing's opened. After you get that back together, you're gonna to wanna to take your shield, push it back on. So just try and line it up with the holes as best as possible, then just push straight down on both sides. You'll kinda of hear two clicks. Then you'll know it's seated. If your holes are a little off, just go ahead and take your thumb, slide it over, maybe use the palm of your hand, make sure it stays seated. There you are, shields on, holes are lined up and you can see through both of them. All right, we have the shield, the gasket on, muffler assemblies all back together. Now we can slide this back on our Steel 025. So trying to keep it on video here. I'm just gonna take this assembly here, line it up with those two, slide that right back on. There won't be a whole lot of threads to grab onto, but there's just enough. Next, you wanna just put those two nuts on. I'll go ahead and do that offline. I went ahead and got some new nuts from the steel dealer. These were pretty chewed up. Looks like this muffler's been on and off a couple of times. Probably my fault. But got two new nuts, bolted them right up. They ended up about flush with the end of those threaded bolts there. There you guys have it. Muffler mod for your Steel 025. So that wasn't so bad, right guys? If there's anything I may have left out, please comment down below with any questions you may have. I will reply back to you as soon as possible. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button as well as subscribe. I still need to throw a bar and chain on this thing and get it all buttoned up and lay it into some wood. We'll see how it cuts, so please stay tuned for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.